Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Tory Lane Farm. It's Joy, Adult Faith Ministry Director, and I'm here at the farm with, uh, this is Georgia, and this is Otis, and um, we welcome you here. I'm here to do the updates for our midweek. I know it's challenging times, but we're sticking together as God's people, and we're going to get through it. So here are our midweek updates for this week from Wellington. And I've got my little book here to help me so I don't remember, so that I do remember everything. Okay, first of all, Katie's retirement is coming up this Sunday. This Sunday's her last Sunday. Katie will be preaching, which means we're taking a pause from the story, and then we'll get back on it the following Sunday, the 17th. And for those of you who want to send cards to Katie, please send them to our Wellington office, or if you want to send an email to uh, office at wsquare.ca, please do that. And Catherine and Martha will see that Katie gets some e-blast. We would want everyone to be on e-blast so that they stay connected. If you know of someone who is not connected, please have them go to our website, go to what's happening, click on it, and they can uh, tune in to Eat Blast. They can sign up for it. Small groups. Thank you so much, all you small group leaders who are staying connected to your groups through Zoom, through phone calls, through emails. I'm really, really pleased how we're keeping that foundation there. Children's ministry too, active and alive. And if, I know Kim sends out messages to you, but you can go on the website to the children's page to be updated also. And with Adam, youth still goes on. So you could go to Facebook for your updates there. And what's very special, on Thursday, Armida, our music director, she leads a hymn sing. You can send um, hymns that you would like sung to her. Um, and also, Glenn's there doing prayers. Um, it's a wonderful time for fellowship. And you just can go to our website again and click on what's happening and it will guide you for on Thursday night, 7 to 7.45. Giving, you can go to our Give button on our website, either do an e-transfer or go to Canada Helps, or you can still do a check and put it in the mail. Our meal program, through Friday night community is still happening to Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, 12 to 4. And if you know of anyone that requires food, we want to take care of each other. So please let the office know. And our prayers are the most important thing that we can do. God does listen to us. So please keep all our global outreach programs in your prayers, Malawi, Mexico, our Wellington Orphanage in Sierra Leone, and also Canada Food Grains. On top of that, please pray for our parents and our children. It's, it's, they're socially uh, not with their peers, and we know it is difficult. So keep them in your prayers, and please keep all our ministries in your prayers, too. In closing, I'm in my meditation garden here, and I just wanted to share with you four things that I find really helped me get through this time of isolation. I am a people person. I love being around people, and I know we still connect through Zoom and emails and phone calls, but there's nothing like being in a circle together. Um, so these are four things that have really helped me, and Bruce too. The first thing is being in the Word daily, in God's Word. That's the biggest thing, and I love to start each day that way. The second thing is memorizing scripture verses. I love carrying those verses in my heart 24-7, and they help me. Another thing that I love to do is visualization. I like to visualize that Jesus, he's my shepherd, he's my rock, my refuge, and he's right here beside me wherever I go 24-7 too. And the last thing is Thanksgiving. I look and I think, Lord, look what you've made. I'm just a steward for a time here, but you've given me so much family, friends, um, beautiful flowers and 
your creation. It's awesome. So that is what helps me get through. And I hope maybe it'll help one of you or two of you. Now, God is with us and, and we will get through this. And I'll see you on Sunday. I'm going to go for a little ride now. Don't forget, it's Katie's last Sunday. So I'll go for my ride and I'll see you Sunday virtually. Bye for now. God bless you all. See you on Sunday. Gallop on! <laughs>